In this video series, we're going to talk about a meta plugin called Jetpack. And I call it a meta plugin because it's actually a wide collection of plugins that do a variety of things. And you may be asking, why would I want them all combined into one like that? Well, let me show you. First, a little bit about what they offer. This is the home page for Jetpack. And if you come down, they list some of the things that they do. They do stats, they do security, and spam avoidance, image performance, making your images as small as possible while still being as clear as possible. And even hosting your images. If we go to the top, you'll note there's a features and pricing section. The vast majority of the plugins inside Jetpack are free. However, a couple of them cost money. They help with traffic growth, security, site management, and content creation. If you pay for Jetpack, you can pay $99 a year for one site or $300 for three WordPress sites. And the payment gets you things like spam protection and off-site backups. And these are things that actually cost the owners money. And so giving it away is not really an option. The reason that Jetpack exists is to offer access to self-hosted WordPress sites to all of the tools available on WordPress.com, which is here. Now, WordPress.com is hosted WordPress. They take care of all the servers for you and all of that. All you have to do is sign up and you magically have a blog. So then when you upload an image, it gets stored on their servers, which are very fast and very powerful. And that image gets compressed so that it loads even faster for your readers. They also have some plugins installed that do things like allow you to cross-post your blog posts to social networks. They offer buttons to your readers so that they can click to like or favorite or whatever on their favorite social network. Now, all of those tools are built into WordPress.com. However, if you install Jetpack on your self-hosted WordPress site, you too can have access to those same tools. And the way it works is when you install Jetpack, it connects your site to WordPress.com. Then, when you upload an image, it gets stored on their servers instead of yours. Now, there's good and bad in that. That means you don't have that image they do. On the other hand, their servers are very, very fast. And if you're uploading large images, which take up a great deal of disk space, then you don't really need to worry about it because it's on their servers. So there are pros and cons to Jetpack. And I'd suggest you look carefully at the features and see if any of them are right for you. We'll be going over some of them in depth and very briefly over all of them just so that you know what's there. Let's take a look at installing. There's a button right here that says Install Jetpack Now, which takes us to this site. If you put in your site's address and you're logged in, it will automatically install Jetpack for you. However, that said, you can also install it the old-fashioned way. It's a normal plugin. So you go to Plugins, and Add New, and simply search for Jetpack. And there it is. So I'm just going to install it this way. And then activate it. Now the first thing it says at the top here is connect to WordPress.com. You can't really use Jetpack unless you connect it. Now, if you're on a local development server, there's something you can put in wp-config so that you can run it locally, but even, <clears throat> but even then you don't get all of the tools because it can't access their servers to upload your images and things like that. But let's click connect to wordpress.com. Now, I'm already logged in as this account. I don't want to connect with that one because that's for a different site. So I'm going to switch account. and I'm going to log in with this user. 
and then I simply click Approve. Now at this point, none of the Jetpack plugins are turned on. If you click Jump Start, it will automatically turn on some of them. This may or may not be what you want. I'm going to say no because I don't want any of them at first. So I'm going to click Skip. And there we have it installed. We'll go over what some of these options are in our next videos.